Good evening. Welcome to a meeting of the uh, Troy Utilities Commission. It is January 30th at about 6 p.m. in the evening. Uh, my name is John Terwilliger. I am the chairman of this and Councilman Lutz is to my right. This evening we have a request from the City Wastewater Treatment Facility dealing with uh, replacement engineering. Mr. Titterington, would you share? Thank you, Mr. Chair. We're asking that you recommend to Council um, the authority to enter into a, uh, a design agreement, a professional services agreement. Uh, the way the state law works is that we don't do authorization to bid when it comes to um, uh, consultants such as engineering, design engineers. Uh, we go out for a request for uh, proposals. Uh, the acronym is RFP. Um, and uh, and then we do a, a search. We being the staff does a, a search, uh, an interview process, assesses who, uh, who can do what, who has expertise, and how many uh, hours they estimate it would take. Uh, Arcadis, who has done uh, in, uh, a bit of work for us, and is very familiar with our plant. Uh, not surprisingly, uh, they did rise to the top uh, as far as the knowledge they have of our system as well as the number of hours that they think uh, it'll take to design this. Uh, the system, this is our uh, ultraviolet system, which the EPA requires that we run from April through um, until November. Uh, it is a requirement under our permit to, uh, to operate, uh, so it is fairly important. The current system is approximately 15 years old. Uh, it is uh, probably beyond its useful life. There is a million dollars uh, built into the uh, uh, wastewater treatment plant budget for 2018 as an estimated uh, construction cost. Uh, the design was anticipated to cost $80,000, but with the complexity, the EPA requirements, the coordination that needs to be handled, uh, as well as including construction management throughout the process to make sure that it's done correctly. Um, the estimate is uh, uh, $128,700. Actually, that's a not to exceed number. Um, we do have funds appropriated in the sewer fund uh, that can handle this. The $80,000 plus $50,000 for uh, as needed uh, repairs or uh, improvements. And so between those two, uh, we have the design uh, budget handled. Uh, we are requesting emergency uh, legislation uh, because there is a significant lead time in ordering the equipment of 18 weeks at least. Um, the design, again, is not a simple design, so it will take some time as well. Uh, we will have to bid out the uh, the actual equipment and the construction part of it, so that will take time as well. And we have a narrow window to, uh, to actually do the install uh, after uh, uh, November. Uh, in November is the earliest we can start because we have to use the current system through the, uh, uh, the season. And then once we shut down, that's the window of opportunity that the uh, contractor can come in and actually do the switch. It has to start up again approximately in April? In April. April 1st, I believe, correct? Staff is here if you have any more technical <laughs> questions because that taps me out. I did go out there this afternoon because I did not totally understand some of it. It was very interesting to see the, uh, the ultraviolet tube set up in regards to sterilizing. The E. coli. And E. coli is one of those spooky public terms we certainly don't want to deal with. Mr. Lutz, questions? Um, so we will be discussing in the future the actual equipment that's going to be put in. We're just talking about the design today, correct? Correct. Okay. I have no questions. Any questions or comments? And what would you choose to do? Uh, let's move forward uh, with the uh, emergency designation as requested. I also agree with that. And if there are no other questions or comments, no, sir. 
or adjourned.